Hey everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this unbaking video. Today we're not going to be baking, but we're going to be sharing. Well, I'm just going to be sharing with you this review for something that you can use for baking. I recently made an order to Truly Matte Plastics, and I ordered markers and just some tipless plastic bags. This is what you get. Your order printed to have a discount for your next order, which is always cool to have my two markers. And I thought I would just show you what the tip looks like on this one. And that's it for the markers themselves. Now for the bags, I ordered two sizes, the small one and the medium one. I didn't want to go for the big one because the big one was like um, too big for what I needed. I just wanted first to get used to the whole thing, know the material and work with it a bit. And until I move on to having like the three sizes. So I ordered two sizes I mentioned before, the small and the medium, this is what they look like. And this is what um, I finally got in that box. So yeah, let's move on to the review of the bags themselves. I'm using the smaller uh, bags. And I just have to open it with scissors. It's going to open here. There you go. It's gonna take one bag. This is what they look like. This is the like website and all the info. And then this is what you got. So I'm just gonna, you know, feel my bag. I'm so sorry, it's noisy. Feel my bag with the lighting. And I do have a recipe of this one in case you want to check it out. So the bag and the pointy end here, I'm just going to show you. So you just have to make the smallest, well, it depends on how small or how big you want your hole to be. And I do have a cookie right here, so I'm just going to show you, you know, an example of it. So I'm going to first make the outline on this cookie. And so far, I'm liking the baggie. It's really easy to work with. It's kind of hard for me to talk when I'm trying to per make perfect lines because I'm not a pro, but I'm trying. <laughs> Working on my feeling. So I wanted to mention a few things. I actually never have decorated a cookie with um, piping bags and piping tapes and all that stuff. I always decorate them using a Ziploc bag. So to me this is much easier to just grab and just kind of like handle the whole thing. kind of look like a, one of those um, wax paper cones which I've never been able to to make out of wax paper using my scribe tool to remove any air bubbles and things my icing might have I do have to draw on this one I use it all the time yeah just going to let this cookie pre-cookie dry and so then once this is crusted and add you know, some polka dots, and just to show you how the bags perform with more details. These are the ones that I'm going to be using from now on, I think. As I mentioned before, I used to, you know, work with Ziploc bags, and they are fine, but it's much easier to work with this ones because of how they grab, so it feels amazing and the fact that I can rewash it and use it again makes it a bit better for me at least and then I'm just going to go to the corners and add a bit something there 
So I'm here to just make the conclusion of this review. I love the specs and I love the fact that it's easy to just work with them. They remind me of how a wax paper cone or a parchment paper cone would feel like, but you can still use them after you wash this ones. In a parchment paper cone, I think just you use it once and then you throw it away. The fact that you just grab them and just use them without having to put anything else or just doing something with it, like the shape of a cone or just adding a pink tape, that's even better. They are affordable, they are available, they ship international, I think. Other than that, it's pretty much it. I just love them. If you have used them, let me know what you think of them. Yeah, I just wanted to share this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share this one. Thank you so much for your time watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Parch or a parchment paper, or a parchment, or a parch paper cone, or a parch paper, oh, God.